Hi guys, I've been using AI to speed up and improve my design process lately. In this video, I'll teach you how you can also benefit from AI. We will learn to create realistic 3D renders by just typing a simple prompt. Also learn to use screenshots of your 3D renders to create realistic renders like these. We will also use real images to create renders like these. And my favorite one, using renders to create 3D animations like these. Also learn to render floor plans like these, render our basic sections and also render elevations effortlessly. Also we will be creating different design options from a single render. Also we can use this to redo existing buildings and have some fun with it. We will learn to expand an image to change its proportions. We will also use a basic sketch to create realistic renders like these. We will learn to create animations from text prompt. We will use renders or images to create artistic illustrations like these. We will also erase, replace and redo objects in existing images or renders. So the AI tool to do all this is called Prome AI. Link for the website is given below. I want you guys to open the link and first of all log in using your Google account. Once logged in this page appears. I want you guys to go to the all tools and click on it. Over here we have all the list of the tools this website is offering. I'm going to teach you the ones that I like the most. The rest you guys can explore on your own as well. The first tool that we will use is AI image generator. Just click on it. In this tool we will learn to create renders or images by just typing a simple prompt. So over here on the left we have this slider with all the generation options. So let's type a prompt. Let's say modern house on a beach. Give it a style. Realistic. Looks good. Scenes. It's an architectural scene. And this is a villa over here. You can give also give it a building style if you like. I'll go with organic modern. These are all the options that you can choose from. You can also choose an environment. I'll just leave it unselected for now. You can also select the perspective. I won't select anything for right now. You can give a negative prompt if you like for something that you don't want in it. You can also increase or decrease the artistry. I'll keep the artistry till 19. You can change the ratio of the output. One ratio one is fine for me. You can change the lighting if you like. So after setting all these options, just hit generate and see what happens. So Prome AI has generated these three options for me. I really like this one. Let's just quickly download it. You have different resolution options. You can also upscale it to higher resolutions, but I, right now I'll just go with full download. The other options also, let's see, view them. They also look pretty nice. So this was the image generation tool of Prome AI. Let's try some other tool. Just click on all tools. The next tool we will try is sketch rendering. The applications of this tool is pretty vast. As you can also see from the examples Prome AI has given us that people have been using it to create renders, elevations, sections, master plans. So let's also experiment with it. I have this 3D model that I have created in SketchUp and I want to render it now. So I'll try to do this with Prome AI. First of all, I'll just find a good view of the model. I think this looks nice. I'll just remove this tree for now. And this is a pretty nice view. I'll simply export a screenshot of it. Desktop, save it. Now go to Prome AI and upload the screenshot that I have just saved. Now you can again give a prompt if you like or upload a reference image for the render to be generated. I just leave it for now. You can select a style. Realistic is good for me. Scene, it's an architectural scene. Residential building. Okay, this is the mode option. We have different modes to select from with their details given below. As you can see the precise one will give a precise output just as the screenshot we have provided. The outline will give a bit more creative option and so on. So right now I'll select precise. You can give a negative prompt, increase the artistry, change perspective, lighting etc. And after all the settings just click generate. It takes a few seconds to create the render. And Prome AI has given me three different design options that I can choose from or just change the settings and keep on generating some more options for myself. You guys can do that on your own and have some fun with it. So next up, I'll teach you how you can render floor plans. For that again, we will go to the sketch rendering tool. So now I have this plan in AutoCAD that I want to render. 
I will simply export this from AutoCAD as a JPEG file and upload it in Prom AI. Go to upload, simply upload the file. Once uploaded, you can give a prompt or give a reference file. This time I'll give a reference image. I'll just upload the image of the kind of render I want. Click upload. Next, just select the style, scene, mode like before or you can just keep them the way they are and click on generate to see what happens. AI is processing it and our plans have been rendered. You see how fast and effortless this entire process is. Our plans were just line plans and then AI has rendered them so easily and quickly. In a similar way, we will be using the same tool to render sections and elevations. Remove the image from here. Just upload a line plan of the section you want to render. Upload it. Again the same drill. Give a reference image. Select the options and hit generate to see what happens. And we have rendered sections ready to be used. AI has converted this line section to this rendered one so easily and quickly. Please note that I have not changed the reference image or the, any of the options. That's why my plan and sections are both of a similar nature. Now I want to render the elevation. So this time I'll just change the settings a bit. I'll remove the image from here and again the image from here. I'll upload the line plan of the elevation I want to render. I'll click open. This time I'll try giving it a prompt rather than a reference image. I'll just type modern house elevation with wooden tiles. No reference image this time. I'll change the scene to architecture, residential building. Change the mode to precise and let's hit generate and see the magic. So Prome AI has given me three rendered elevations according to the prompt that I provided. Pretty nice and detailed I must say. AI has read the line weights pretty nicely and given the image some depth according to the elevation that I provided. Again if you are not satisfied by the results you can just play around with the settings till you generate something that works for you. So the next tool that we will try is that we will try is my personal favorite and this is image to video. Using this tool, we can create a short video animations of our 3D renders or simple images. It's very simple, just upload the image that you want to turn into a 3D. I'll upload this one that I generated with this from AI. Now we have only a one option of high motion that we can turn on and off and nothing else in the slider. So we will generate two animations with this mode on and off. So let's try it with high motion on and click generate. The video generation takes a bit more time as compared to the images and it also gives only one option at a time. So my animation is ready. Let's just try it out. Looks pretty decent. It's a four second animation that Prome AI generates for us. You can download it with or without watermark. So now let's again generate an animation but this time with high motion off and let's see what happens and the animation is ready. Let's play it. Now this one looks more interesting with the building being rotated. I'll just save this one. So the next tool that we will try is text to video. In this tool we will use a text prompt to generate an animation for us. This time I just want to try out something non-architectural. So let's just try woman walking on street. You can change the options if you want. Again we have an option of high motion. Let's just keep it on and click generate. This tool also generates a single option at a time and takes a few seconds more as compared to the image generation that we saw before. So our animation is ready. Let's just try it out. Pretty nice I must say. It's a 4 second animation. I've noticed all the animations that from AI is generating are of 4 seconds and I don't see an option of creating any longer or shorter generations. If you guys figure out how to do that, do let me know in the comments. So let's try the next tool that we have in our list. So scroll down and go to image variation. Click on it. We will use this tool to generate different iterations of the same design. Just click on the image and upload an image. Click on it. Open. The image is uploaded. Again you can give a prompt if you like. Next we have a variation slider. You can increase or decrease it. This will control the amount of variation our generations will have from the original render. For now I'll just keep it till 40 and click generate to see what happens. Not much of a difference with the variation set at 40. So I'll just increase the variation this time to 72 and click generate again. 
and from a ai has generated three different design options that are pretty different from the original one but are still keeping that characteristics of the original image let's just see it side by side this was my original image and this is what has been generated so you can use this tool to create different design options effortlessly and easily i have been using this tool to create different design options of famous buildings and really this has been pretty fun activity for me the next tool that we will try is called out painting just click on it this tool is very helpful for changing proportions of an existing image for example changing a landscape image to portrait or a portrait to landscape as we need different sizes for images to be uploaded on different platforms so my image is uploaded over here you can rotate around the image in the canvas that is provided now for example i want the image to be generated from this side and just adjust my image like this and i want more generation towards the left like this once adjusted just click on generate and see the magic three different options are loading now you see the image has been expanded on that side that i wanted and three options are available i can download whichever i like or if i have a specific requirement i can type the prompt and generate again so let's go to our next tool the next tool is called creative fusion we will use this tool to create artistic illustrations of renders or images just upload the render that you want to improve or create an illustration next you can type a prompt if you like then we have this style option we have a range of styles that we can select from please note that this tool is not for just architectural images but you can improve your own images with this as well so all these images are of human figures or animals then we have this architectural section as well we have a section of hand painted images and so on so i'll just select one of the option i like this one a bit so let's just try this out and click on generate so my image is ready looks pretty interesting I really like the final output on this. I'll just save it for now. So now the last option that we will try out in this video will be erase and replace. It's pretty similar to Photoshop's generative fill. Simply upload the image that you want to change. Once uploaded, go to this act on area option. We have different options of replace, remove, retouch, recolor. I'll show you the replace one. So click on it and go to the image. Now you see different areas of the image are being auto selected. You can select any of the areas or you can also use the manual selection tool like this if you like. But I will go with auto select and select this sofa set over here as I want to replace it. Once completely selected, go to the prompt and type whatever you want to replace it with. I'll type black Barcelona chair and click generate. So three options are generated and Chrome AI has pretty neatly replaced that old sofa with these with this barcelona chair option that i asked it for pretty nice i must say so these were some of the tools that i found pretty useful in my daily design process there are a lot more other tools available on this website that i have not been able to discover for now but would love to do that in future for example this pattern generator i'm hoping i will be able to generate different material patterns that i can use in my vray or lumion softwares for rendering or this png generator or background remover options they look pretty promising and useful so i want you guys to check out all these tools and share your experience with me the pricing for this ai tool from ai is not that much as compared to the value that it is providing we also have a free version with limited options and renders that we can get but i would highly recommend you guys to buy the subscription as this will remarkably improve your design process and the quality of work that you are doing that's it for today don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more informative content like this take care goodbye